Owning an extra home was just my way of getting a little bit of extra income for my retirement. Patty Peoples never imagined that buying two small investment properties near her home would turn into such a colossal nightmare. Oh my gosh. I mean, what a year this has had been. Literally one year ago this time, the house was in shambles. I can see that they've changed the lock on the front door. How is that not breaking and entering? The 61-year-old from Jacksonville, Florida, became a victim of squatters, a maddening situation that cost her more than $40,000 and put her in danger. I thought, you know, if I put the key in the door, then I don't know what's waiting on the other side. It was last year when Peoples put one of her houses on the market. It sat empty for less than a month before two strangers broke in, according to Jacksonville police, and staked their claim, taking over. I called 911. And as I'm describing to the officer that there may be somebody that had broken and entered into my house, out walks a young woman and she said, well, I rented this property yesterday. It only got worse. I own this house. It doesn't matter. Yes. Tensions escalating in this heated altercation the very next day. <laughs> after Peoples entered her home and asked the strangers to leave. And she's still standing here. Excuse me. If you touch me again, I have every right to be in this you, house. You don't have every right to be in the house I at do, all. Ma you do not. I, when you do not. I'm not it. touching you. My you are touching, touching me. Not. And this okay. lady is I'm touching me. No, we're blocking you from coming in the house. You are. God it. Believe it or not, the police officer told me, I will arrest you if you do this again. They have the right to privacy. I cannot tell you the frustration I felt at this point. According to this police report obtained by ABC News, the squatters had a fabricated lease and were repeat offenders. To people's surprise, police told her there was little they could do. The police gave me the really devastating news was that this was not a crime, that this had to be managed in civil court. People's ordeal is part of a rampant squatter crisis affecting residents from state to state. As you're trying to bring more awareness to the laws that you think need to change. If a squatter enters a home illegally, never had a legal right to be there, they should be prosecuted as criminals, criminal trespass. If they present a fake lease, it should be fraud. When someone is in a, in a property, they have what is called adverse possession. They take that property on as their own and they do have certain legal rights. Um, we would think it's trespassing, but they have to be evicted through the court process. The process took several weeks. It, all total, it was 36 days before the squatters were ejected. It is egregious what these people are getting away with uh, through the current legislation. After learning about her ordeal, Representative Kevin Steele and State Senator Keith Perry said enough is enough. Introducing a new law to protect homeowners, giving police the right to immediately arrest squatters and criminally charge any trespasser with a felony for any intentional damage while falsifying a lease carries a misdemeanor charge. And if someone tries to sell your property, it's a first degree felony. Patty Peoples sharing her story in front of lawmakers. The police have no power. The homeowner has no power. The only one with power in this situation are the squatters. And earlier this month, the bill receiving unanimous bipartisan support. And just today, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signing it into law. We are in the state of Florida ending the squatter scam once and for all. It goes into effect on July 1st. This bill really communicated that this is a people's rights bill. It is a fairness bill. When you own property, it is very disheartening to know that you have to go through a long legal process that is not only long in its duration, but also can be very expensive. The reality is, is that unfortunately squatters are taking advantage of certain laws that are in their favor. While Florida is taking action, the squatter crisis in other states has no end in sight, including Texas. Time and time again, we told you about homeowners fighting to get their property back after squatters moved in. Well, now it appears it's happened once again. And in New York, a squatter standoff caught on camera by our station WABC. You shouldn't be trying to steal my house. Yes, you are. There's a man sleeping right there. Get out of my house. Adele Andaloro says she inherited this New York City house, but a group of people moved in and changed the locks. The NYPD called in, arresting one man. 
Why is it that I have to leave and he doesn't have to leave? Because technically he can't be kicked out. He needs to go to court. But this man, forcing his way back inside, was allowed to stay. Call the police again. The man telling WABC investigative reporter Dan Krauth he signed a lease in October, though he showed no proof. So how does this all end then? When do you leave? The way it ends is, is either she pays me my money that I put into the house, pay me the money, and I'll leave, or send me to court, and we deal with the judge in court. In New York City, squatters have tenant rights after 30 days, making this a landlord-tenant dispute. So when Adele had the locks changed again... You're getting arrested right now? I'm being arrested. For what? For being, in my, for being in my own home. Police took her away in handcuffs for unlawful eviction. The charges against Ann Deloro have since been dropped. We're keeping track of it on our cell phones. We're taking video. We're uh, taking pictures. With few protections for homeowners, infuriated residents in this upscale Los Angeles neighborhood forming a neighborhood watch. You said squatters are treating this like their neighborhood. It's a constant problem. I've lived here since 1991. It's a very different vibe now. For me, it personally, it's triggering. I don't feel safe. What is your worst fear? <sighs> well, uh, that this will escalate and if more crime could be invited into that house, it could turn into a drug den. One squatting incident in New York has even turned into a murder investigation. Two suspected squatters on the run for a murder in Manhattan have been arrested in Pennsylvania. According to the NYPD, 52-year-old Nadia Vitels came upon two squatters living in her late mother's vacant apartment, and she ended up dead. Vitels' body found stuffed in a duffel bag. Meanwhile in L.A. and gaining a lot of notoriety is Flash Shelton, a man who calls himself the squatter hunter. Squatters are not homeless people. Squatters are self-entitled criminal type people that don't care how their lives are affecting others. He's out squatting the squatters. He recently helped an elderly widow remove a squatter from her multi-million dollar home in the Hollywood Hills and caught it all on camera. So you came to the house and confronted him here in the driveway? That's correct. I understand you've been squatting at this residence? No. No? Yeah, I, I got in between him and the house and I just said, uh, you know, are you, I understand you've been squatting in this residence and uh, he started to tell me he had a lease. My goal right now today is to get you out of this house. So I actually followed him in, uh, all the way in. And we just uh, sat down and we, I talked to him for like an hour and a half. For Flash, a former handyman, this work is personal. When a squatter took over his mother's house, he moved in with the squatter until they left. I own a home, and you're telling me someone can just come in and set up shop, and they don't have to leave. Yeah, I've had many cases where the people are just on vacation. You call the police, and they just say, look, I live here, and you have a civil matter on your hands. The police can't do anything about it. The police can't do anything about it. Back in Florida, Patty has learned a thing or two from her harrowing journey. They actually go to open houses as a legitimate buyer or renter and are scoping out the property. It's important to post no trespassing signs all over your property. The second thing is, is that there exist non-drillable locks. Many of these squatters drill out the deadbolt on your front door. Don't do like I did. Don't approach the squatters. While her experience has left her feeling vulnerable, Peoples is grateful homeowners like her are now protected under the law. The fight is absolutely not done yet. It must be taken to every state. And if, if some sort of federal legislation can be crafted, I think that would be the best solution of all. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.